Right, Green, I'm a screenwriter, screenplay person. No, I was behind the camera. I was as a first AD as and you know runners, and so I, I understood how how a camera worked and how you filmed a soap opera, I suppose, uh, and that helped in the understanding of how to structure a script in order that it's not um, out of the realms to film. So understanding the the how to contain it so that when people read it, then it you know people can envision making it. I made it my business to seek him out, actually, because he was a writer I admired. I went, I knew he was speaking at a BAFTA event. I went there and I asked him if he'd come here, as simple as that, and he fortunately agreed. I don't profess to be have a secret formula and now to become a successful writer. It's not my gig. It's not, it's not what I want to do. I just think that being here in person just might make it more of a real option for, for, for younger people that, and people that might not necessarily come from privileged backgrounds. They're very lucky <laughs> to have you know, three years to be able to hone a skill and uh, to use that time wisely, I suppose, and come out with something at the end that, that if they have got a talent and a voice that they can sell and become successful with. You should just be writing and studying the industry. You should be studying the business side of it as well as understanding the creative side of it and, and, and making some kind of strategic plan whilst they go along. It's a, as I say, it's an opportunity for them to do that. I think it, it, people just can get a bit emotionally entwined in their own heads and uh, you just got to unpick it and, and keep pushing along. I think there's got to be something that they can write on a day whether they use it or not. Writer's block is a total block, I don't believe in. I believe that you can come up against opposition in your own mind. I think what I get out of it is you can see, um, I think with movies there's a sense that you see these names on the credit list and they exist in some other world. They, they don't exist in our world. And I think what was important to see someone who, in a sense, because we're in the North West, talks like them, looks like them, comes in and talks about his very real career as a screenwriter. That's the deal. What have I got out of it? I don't know, I think it was good that people came up to me and said, you know, you're not a normal uh, depiction of what a writer is. And, uh, you know, I try and... I try and play on that a bit, the fact that, you know, doors are being broken down in this industry and I think uh, a few more should be in the future as well and, and these lot hopefully have a chance of doing so. We're not all posh. Uh, I'm very serious as a lecturer in uh, that we plug into the industry and you, you meet people of this calibre. I think it's inspirational uh, when you hear how he's done it and what he's done and it's actually students can get a chance to ask questions straight to him, ask anything, and they're getting answers from uh, an absolutely top-calibre writer. At the moment, I've still got too much going on in order... F and I'm still learning, I suppose. But, yeah, I think yeah, I want to give something back to, uh, to, to younger people. Maybe I just don't want to grow up. Maybe I'm still young. <laughs>